We are now going to make an example of a network management in a RAP in a military context. So I open RAP. First with an empty project, and then I will select uh, a prepared project that will make it quicker for me to to demonstrate uh, features of the network, network management function. This project contains uh, uh, a military command structure. Uh, multi-level, highest level is division, then uh, three brigades. Each brigade has uh, three battalions. Each battalion has three companies. Each company has three platoons. Expanding this in a tree view looks like this. Uh, no, not there. No, that's one. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one. So uh, at the pl platoon level, the lowest level, there is one radio station, the platoon commander. At the company level, there is one radio station, the company commander, and in the, the network, in that group that we have created for the company, uh, there are three uh, stations. Having a look at the networks in the project, uh, this is the list, complete list of, of networks. If we start at the lowest level, uh, this these stations are part of the company network 1333. So it has a master station company commander and the three platoon commanders as subordinate stations and battalion 133 has a battalion master and three company commanders as subordinate stations uh, Having a look at this in a comprehensive matrix form, it looks like this. And here we can reassign, we can take, take out stations of the networks and make them free to assign in some other network and so on. So this matrix can be used to, to define the complete uh, uh, military radio network structure, which with radio networks and military units. It can be printed um, uh, to give an overview of what is going on or what has been defined. So we select green for the master stations, stations that are assigned to the net. Nets will be now shown in yellow and stations that are not assigned to any net will be red but in this case uh, all stations are assigned so i don't think we'll see any any red stations i generate a pdf file of this in order to display it in a pdf uh, viewer so uh, this is the way it looks uh, for instance the company one 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 um, there network uh, contains these four stations with the master station the company commander of company one 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 and the platoon commanders as subordinate uh, uh, stations this uh, uh, I can move uh, this complete uh, structure in the map by dragging and dropping because in this case we have related them to each other 
uh, geographically. And that is sometimes interesting to be able to do that. I move them back like that. Now the continued uh, demonstration assumes that this division is to operate in an area and the frequency of operation is in the 30 to 88 megahertz band. That is a band that is shared with civilian frequency use. And in Sweden, the regulations say that in such shared bands, the military must make sure not to interfere with the civilian ass assignments. So I'm uh, show, going to show now how RAP supports ensuring that uh, such uh, collisions do not happen. Uh, so I drew an area here, a circle, uh, with the ass assumption that the division is supposed to be able to move within this area without creating interference to civilian frequency use. Uh, we will create a channel plan. It may already have been created, uh, of course, uh, but this shows how it is done. In the 30 to 87.4 megahertz uh, band, channel separation is 25 kilohertz. On the radio stations here, they have 20 kilohertz uh, bandwidth. It is a simplex channel plan. I will use frequency search in order to search the civilian database within the map area. And here I mark the civilian frequency database. Pressing next performs the search and checks for collisions. So the total number of free frequencies is 1,893. There were 404 collisions. So 404 frequencies were assigned to civilian users. I will use the, make the default uh, selection here and make use of that. Use marked frequencies for allotment. And those that are marked now are the 1,893 free frequencies. So there we are. And I call this 87, uh, 30 to 87.4 uh, megahertz coordinated division one in this area, Östergötland, which is the county uh, where we are located. OK, it is saved. Now, uh, that is the one. I've done this before, so we already have one there. But that, this is uh, the one I have made now. OK, uh, this complete command structure uh, with all its networks contains uh, 40 networks. And uh, we can assign frequencies uh, uh, to them. Uh, I can do it straight away, picking from this uh, plan without uh, further further uh, uh, checks or anything. I can use. So let, let's uh, go ahead and, and do that. Uh, I go to the networks in project. Here we have a networks in project. Right click, make quick frequency assignment. Then I select uh, that uh, plan. Ah, okay, I have to sort sort here to to find it. Uh, it starts at 30 megahertz. It is one of these. Uh, that one was the one I created now. So we'll make use of that. 
Uh, here I can uh, assign one frequency to each, set all main frequencies to one. Yeah, I've done that. And let, let's do the same for the reserve frequencies. Yeah, so they will now be assigned one, fre one main frequency, one reserve frequency. When I press assign, it assigns. So we can see what happened. It uh, received this frequency as the main frequency and that frequency as the reserve frequency. Another way to refine this a little more is uh, to uh, have some additional considerations. Uh, that's the one we select again by using the divide allotment function. This will then operate on uh, the uh, the frequency need we have defined uh, it to require one frequency one main and one uh, reserve frequency for each uh, level here division brigade and so on here we have uh, considerations in frequency separation uh, so division frequencies are to be at least 100 kilohertz apart. Brigade frequencies at least uh, 100 kilohertz apart and so on. These can be changed. The purpose of these additional conditions is to uh, uh, ensure a sufficient frequency separation to allow movement, the dynamic situation where the battalions uh, different battalions move and come close to each other. When they do, the risk of interference increases if we do not maintain a reasonable frequency separation. So I will stay with this and uh, not change it. Pressing next generates this temporary allotment. Finish and then we have assigned with consideration to uh, these required frequency separations. Okay. So this is uh, um, a very useful uh, feature of RAP with the network management. It supports uh, the, the hierarchical way of frequency management in a, in a military context at the central headquarter uh, that's usually where uh, where coordination with the other frequency users takes place so there we make the coordination with the civilian users preparing uh, the channel plans at the central level they can be distributed uh, to lower levels in the organization uh, where frequency managers are responsible for for instance for this division and uh, the channel plans that are suitable and coordinated can then be digitally distributed um, i'll also mention uh, what kind of symbols that we make use of the symbols are uh, Oh, they are available here in units in network. These are MIL standard 2525B symbols uh, for uh, the various battle dimensions and affiliations, friend, enemy, neutral, and unknown, and the command levels that are that can be defined. And if this instead was a core level, it would look like this division is that and then the brigade that we already have uh, is that one but we'll it is a division level so we stay with that uh, 
Okay, that uh, completes uh, this uh, short presentation of network management in RAP.